Men altså, jeg har sett på YouTube, da har jeg sett på denne svenske eksperten Hans Rosling. Han forklarer jo dette med rik og fattig på en veldig bra måte. Jeg tenkte jeg skulle dra den bare veldig kjapt for dere. Hans forklaring. If you have all the populations in the world, and all the richest people in the world, represented here by these buckets. You have the all these empty buckets that yes. are people and populations in the world. And then you have this. It's all the money in the money is in the world. Yes. And you take one of the richest, you take the richest and then you take the monies and then the poor people come and they say can we have some money? Yeah. And then the richest people say no, you can't have the money. And then you you lift it up and then the richest people have taken all the monies. Yes. And then what do you do? You say, okay, then what about if we share? Let, can I try to have some of the monies? Yeah. No, yes, we can put the monies here. And the richest people say, wait a minute, can I have a look at the monies? And the poor people say, no, you can't that, but all of a sudden the richest people, they have, they have almost all the monies. Yeah. And the poor people say, wait a minute, we, we want to try to see if we can have some of the monies. Can we not please have some of the monies? And the poor people say no, and the rich people, all yeah, of a sudden they have, <laughs> now they have, you see, you see this is why they, all the rich people end up with all, all the, almost all the monies, and the poor people only have a little bit of the monies. <laughs>